Here's Hudson, barking at the dog in the window of the RV. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? <laughs> Who's that guy in our RV? <laughs> Who's that guy, Hudson? <laughs> ah, he's funny. He's funny. Well, we spent all day packing. We're going to be on the road here, headed for Yellowstone, either late tonight or early in the morning. Packed all day. Okay, we're in the RV. Everyone's trying to figure out where their place is. Got to bring the Peloton. Ella's, Ella's up high. Got everyone set up. There's Clyde's area. He's kind of checking it all out. In the bathroom. He's thinking, what the heck is going on? Everyone's like, what the heck is going on? Working. So everyone's 
nap it now. Ella's up here somewhere. I don't want to bother her because she's sometimes she's under the covers. Now what you doing, Ella? Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. I know. What how you doing, little girl? It's like you're at home in bed. What does it matter where you are? It's the same bedding and everything. What do you think? It's so bumpy. It's so bumpy, I know. Yeah, this is where it really is the bumpiest. Where are you going? I just like checking it out. She says she's checking it out. Okay, check it out. We've been on the road like five hours now. Such a good girl, though. Such a good girl. She's been really quiet the whole time, really. Haven't you? Okay, say bye, everyone. So this is our first stop. Seymour got out a little bit. Kind of hanging out on the back of her cage. Oh, there's people. Where's... Kind of got lucky here. We're kind of at the end of a dead end road. Just let the dogs out of the car. Spirits on our side, right, Jim? Don't even know where we are. Kind of outside of Vegas, I think. Is that where we are, right? Yeah, yeah that's where we are. Fun time. <laughs> Taking a snack. Get out, stretch their legs. There's Luka Dookie. Luca? Luca's Luca's a good boy. He always stays around, but sometimes he gets himself into something. I think he's underneath them. Ah, he's doing under there. Don't get dirty under there. Are you hot? Ow! That's the guy. He clacked me in the head. Was that Hudson who clacked me in the head or Bradley? <laughs> he clacked me in the head, buddy. The floor of the RV gets really hot, so the little dogs have to be in bed. So while we're driving, they can't lie directly on the floor. So the first night was a total bummer. We learned that the RV was missing a hose for the waste, the toilet leaked, the refrigerator and the freezer were broken, which really was a bummer because I had all the raw food for the dogs. The locks on the side door of the RV and the outdoor compartment didn't work. So we had to find service, which actually ended up being a really good experience. We brought it into Salt Lake City and it was an hour drive from where we were and on the way to where we were going. So everything worked out perfectly. And also the people at Salt Lake were awesome. And everything got fixed, thank goodness. She's doing good. There. Just hanging out, waiting for everything to get done. And we're back on the road. Hudson liked this place the best because he could lie by the window and also I could close the shades. Clyde needed a bed because otherwise he would bounce around. We're just outside of Yellowstone. Just rolled in. Bradley's the only one off leash because he's the only one that's not going to chase a moose or a bear. There's Easter and Jim with Seymora. Easter taking a poopy. Get that off camera. It's 
quiet here. Luca, what do you think about it here? What do you think? It feels like nature. It feels like nature. Did you make him off? Luca, because I'm worried he'll chase something. What What do you think, Seymour? Huh? You like it here? I can fly here. You can fly here. How can you fly? In your mind, I know. You love nature, don't you? That's her happy dance. That's what she does when she's happy. This is the next morning. morning. It is so beautiful walking out. out we were walking outside just of outside of Yellowstone. Hudson's on leash because she's prey driven and will chase deer. These guys are doing good. Jim over there, look at Felix. Easter's got like three jackets on. Good boy, Felix. How you doing? What do you think, Felix? It's nice here. It's nice here, I know. A lot of adventures. <laughs> look at Easter with like all her jackets on. It was really cold in the morning, so Easter needed her jackets. She had like three layers on. Even Felix needed a jacket. It was just really, really beautiful, and the air was so crisp and clean. I had a cat harness for Ella, and I needed to get Clyde out, so I put Clyde on the harness, and he actually really enjoyed it. I was surprised how quickly he took to it, as you can see here. What do you think, Clyde? What do you think? It's magical. It is magical, I agree. What do you think about being on a harness? What do you think about that? I get to go outside. You get to go outside. <laughs> okay, buddy, but you can't go that way, okay? Come on. Come on. This way. This way. Come on. Oh. <laughs> to get a rabbit to go where you want. I don't think that. Can't get a rabbit to go where you want. <laughs> We're always a little bit shanty town when we come and we park. We we never go. We always kind of look like <laughs> we have a mess going on. <laughs> so we're trying to organize. <laughs> That's an always on guard. So as soon as we made it inside the park of Yellowstone, we saw this bison. We drove by him pretty quickly, but he did say to me that he enjoyed during COVID there being less traffic, but he also missed people admiring him. The scenery was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you uh, Old Faithful. It's the only place that we didn't take the dogs just because we couldn't bring the dogs. And we just wanted to really see Old Faithful go spout and go off. I have it in its entirety here. It was like three minutes and something. Feel free to fast forward it. Um, just if you've never seen it, it really is spectacular. And maybe you may want to watch it here. Enjoy.
Our next stop was Grant Lake in Yellowstone. The dogs went crazy sniffing in the water. Hudson was definitely smelling like a bear or something um, that had been drinking from the water. And then we had seen the sign a little bit later about don't go crossing that point because bears will will be there, which we thought was kind of funny because there were obviously on the other side of the cone as well. <laughs> Swimming though, badly. I want you to try before you get in the boat. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no more, no more, no, 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 no. I don't want you swimming. No swimming. My dog's doing a perfect stay. I love these little guys. Get back on the road again. Ella and Clyde start to hang out. She's kind of down a little bit more from up on top. And this is the scenery that we've seen outside the windows at Yellowstone. It was really cold. We passed a couple of bears. We passed some moose. Easter was fascinated. And when we would stop, Clyde would look out the window. He's such a cutie patootie. We got a hotel room. It was like a luxury for us. It, we rolled in at about 11.30 at night, and the man at the desk said, I don't care how many animals you have. And so we got to stay, shower in a real shower and sleep in a real bed for the night. We got a hotel room. This is where pretty much Ella always hangs out, is under the... <laughs> Sorry, we always look like... <gasps> right, Ella? See, this is where I hang out. We always kind of look shantytown. <laughs> so many animals. We kind of look a little ghetto. I'm not really this messy in real life. I'm actually quite neat. This is where Seymour is hanging out. Seymour, you want to show him? Say hi, this is where I hang out in the shower. Because that's our little traveling cage. She said, I'd rather hang out here. Right? Good girl. <laughs> Next, we went to Mount Rushmore. I asked the dogs if they knew where we were. And Easter said she couldn't believe how the tourists were so excited to see the faces in the rocks. Luca, he also was amazed at the faces in the rocks. And he loved to kind of be around it um, and look up at them. Hudson was amazed at the history of it because Jim was quite amazed at the history of it too. Felix was happy to get out of the car and just be around nature again. And Bradley just couldn't believe the carvings in the rocks and just looking up. They all knew what was going on. The next part of the journey was long and rainy to Nebraska. I think it was 11 hours. Woke 
up to such beautiful green lush land it really was amazing for all of us the dogs absolutely loved it <laughs> nebraska was one of our all-time favorites on the journey here she comes come on easty Dogs often talk about in heaven and also alive that they're one of their favorite things is green grassy fields. So this was just an absolute dream for the dogs. They're West Coast dogs, so Southern California, so they never see fields like this. It really was spectacular for them. Good stay, you guys. No, Felix, stay. Stay. We're always practicing the group stay. There's always one, usually Easter, that kind of moves around. We're all just taking in the view here. Such a beautiful view. Then I had to tie the dogs up while I made their dinner or their breakfast. Here they are, waiting for their breakfast. Now we're off to see my friend Kim. What we haven't shown here is the incredible amount of time that it takes to clean the RV every day. It's like an hour of like sweeping and just making sure everything is neat and tidy for the drive. So. It took us like an hour and a half to give the RV a good cleaning before we set out. We're at Kim's house having an adventure. Her beautiful home. Right, Kim? Yeah, we're, all the animals are visiting each other. Yeah, and Kim is hooking up Simora with all these wonderful foods. And snacks for the road trip. What do you think, Simora? You love it here? I know. Me too, sweetie. Did you show him your friend? There's Easter. Easter's a little cold. Hi, look at how pretty you are. Yeah, that's jazzy. that's jazzy. And Kim's got the coolest setup for her bird. Look, check out this out. This is their outdoor cage. They go inside too. And look at their beautiful view. Everyone just loved visiting Kim and Hollis and all her birds and her puppy and her kitty. It just felt really good to see an old friend and the dogs have known Kim for a long time. So it was just a really great visit. We were all very happy. With five dogs, sometimes you have to split them up. So Hudson and Bradley stayed outside and hung out. So now we're in Kansas City, Missouri at Jim's sister's house and the animals are enjoying the time. Hudson's waiting for squirrels to come to the bird feeder. Clyde's just hanging out. Looking handsome. Seymour is loving this humidity. It's very pretty here. Say hi. Yay! Hi. <laughs> All right, an Easter back there. And the beautiful Kansas City, Missouri woods. And little Bella. <laughs>
Good stay. Jim and I were exhausted and uh, we were tired of driving, so we let Luca drive the next 17 hours to New York. back of the house. Ella's inside checking it out. See Mora's checking out the backyard. Look at this amazing backyard. Hudson's already guarding the perimeter. But this is where we live. Super exciting to be here. We have one neighbor, which is up you can see it up there. And the rest is just fields and forest and we pretty much live in the woods. Uh, Hudson is being so good about guarding Clyde, and Clyde is sticking close to Hudson. And this is, this is such a big the um, from back behind our house. Yeah, we have so much lush, lush grass. It's just crazy. Look at how beautiful this is. I mean, California is beautiful too. But this is wild. Gorgeous. Come on, you guys. Good babies. Good babies. I hope you enjoyed our journey. My next video, I'll have the animals telling you about what their favorite part of the trip was, or what they love about New York. Thanks for joining us.